Where do we go from here? What's the plan? Traveler, Paimon! Hold on! Huh? Ayaka? Something has come up, and I would like to request your assistance. But you ought not be nervous. This is not coming from the Yashiro Commission or the Kamisato clan. It is my own individual request. Individual request? You mean personal stuff? Correct. It concerns my mother. This may seem a little sudden, but in my view, you are the only person I can entrust this to. A few days ago, I was sorting through some old family belongings when I found a notebook that belonged to my mother. She wrote about all kinds of things, mostly of little consequence. But what drew my attention was a name. It is one that I have never heard before, so the fact that she mentions it so frequently, it makes it difficult for me to ignore. Probably your mom's best buddy, right? Never. And although my mother and father passed away many years ago, both my brother and I are familiar with the vast majority of their acquaintances. So, I am very curious about this mysterious individual. I would very much like to meet them. According to the notebook, their name is Tsubaki. This seems to have been someone very important to my mother. Someone with a lot of personality, who liked to have fun. Paimon thinks it sounds like a girl's name. That's what I thought, too. So what do you want us to do? Do you need us to find her for you? No, no. Her address is given in the notebook. We can head straight there. I wanted you to assist me with the preparation of greeting gifts. Please keep everything I have told you in strict confidence. The proper course of action would be to involve my brother and visit her together, but he is terribly busy at present and, on a more selfish note, I don't wish to involve anybody else from Inazuma in this matter. Exactly. That, and you are also a kind, well-mannered person with a genuine concern for other people. Not to mention trustworthy. I would not feel comfortable with anyone else in this situation. You can count on us! We've done greeting gifts before, so we should be able to help. In terms of payment, just treat us to some delicious food and we'll be more than happy. Wonderful! In fact, I was hoping to take this opportunity to show you both around, if you don't mind, of course. Oh, we don't mind. We don't mind at all. Do we? Thank you kindly. Shall we head off then? Ogura Textiles and Kimonos is our first stop. Alright, sounds great! Be. It's a festival promotion! Hey, speaking of, we haven't been anywhere fun since we arrived in Inazuma! N no what made you think that? <clears throat> Festivals are a common occurrence here in Inazuma. We in the Yashiro Commission are very well acquainted with these sorts of customs. Each season brings its own festival, and each festival in turn brings a fresh challenge to the task of maintaining public order. So, while festivals are undoubtedly joyous and lively occasions, for us, they are also a cause for concern. Oh, my apologies. I should stop thinking about work. This is hardly relevant to the matter at hand. This store here is the place I wanted to visit. Oh, so you weren't checking out the promotion? Well, let's take a look inside then. Welcome! I have all the latest styles. Please take a look. Oh! It's Miss Kamisato! With guests from overseas! Welcome to Ogura Textiles and Kimonos. Are you here to purchase fabric or for tailored garments? Oh! Greetings to you too! I have a design here for a garment. Would you be so kind as to take a look? Oh! Ayaka came prepared! Let me see... Hmm... Hmm... This could be... Mm-hmm... It could be... Oh! It's a very fine design!
design. Miss Kamisato, you'd like us to make a kimono following this design, yes? Please, if you could. I'm honored that you'd choose Olgra textiles and kimonos for your tailoring needs. However, there is one rather difficult problem. Based on the design, this kind of kimono would require silk made from the silk flower. The majority of Inazuma's silk is imported from Liyue Harbor, but given the current climate... As you well know, Inazuma is currently under a strict lockdown. In all honesty, the impact on the textiles industry has been quite significant. We're struggling to import high-grade fabrics. So much of our tailoring business has been put on hold indefinitely. But of course, where our customers are able to provide the fabric themselves, we can still be of service. So you're saying we need to go and buy some silk first? If even Ogura textiles and kimonos can't get a hold of high-grade fabric, where would we buy it from? You could try the International Trade Association. They are a little better connected than we are. After all, the association brings together merchants from all over the world. The only thing is their prices. They're not the cheapest. In times like these, though, we're lucky to even have an option of getting a hold of the things we want in the first place. Huh. So even just getting clothes made is an ordeal in Inazuma. Wait! The International Trade Association? That's Kurisu's thing, right? We haven't been to Rito in a while. Hmm. It looks like that will be our next stop. Thank you ever so much. We will be back once we've acquired the fabric. Oh, in the meantime, I have one other very small request. Could you? Why is she being so secretive all of a sudden? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Much obliged. My pleasure, Miss Kamisato. Honestly, I'm just as excited as you to see the end product. We haven't made a silk kimono for the longest time now, and this is a beautiful design. Hmm. That's very kind of you, thank you. Goodbye for now. Traveler Paimon, let's try our luck at the International Trade Association. This is it. The International Trade Association. Okay then, we need to talk to Karisu, right? Huh, doesn't look like he's here. Let's look around. gonna do Mr. Kurisu, are you all right? Oh, you're Miss Sayaka from the Kamisato clan. How do you do? Better than you it appears. Oh, uh, and if it isn't the traveler, I haven't seen you in a while. I take it you've been out of Rito? Thanks again for your help last time. The association is back in business and it's all thanks to you. Something bad happened? Well, you see... It's embarrassing to admit, but some of the Association's goods have been stolen... by vagrants. Which goods were stolen? It was a batch of high-grade silk. Huh. We imported a big batch of silk from Liyue several years ago. It's been sitting in storage ever since. Recently, we heard that clothing stores in the city have more or less sold all their silk stocks. So we figured now would be a good time to bring our batch out of storage, thinking it'd probably fetch a good price. <sighs> but then... Ugh, the vagrants swiped the whole batch, then disappeared into the woods. I'd report it to the authorities, but... <sighs> well, as you know, they don't think much of foreign merchants like us. The Kanjo Commission don't want to give us the time of day. <sighs> Honestly, you can just tell that our suffering amuses them. 
While I also take issue with aspects of the Kanjo Commission's operational methods, please remember, Mr. Kurisu, that while you are here in Inazuma, you should be careful with your words. Uh, oh, my apologies. I had to let off some steam. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be much we can do ourselves to get our goods back. <sighs> Perhaps I'm doomed to go bankrupt after all. I am afraid I can't intervene in an official capacity, but I can still help you get your lost goods back. Of course, I would never... Wait, what? Huh? Yes. Acting in my own capacity, mind you. Even then, there is no escaping the fact that my every action and word will be seen to reflect on the Yashiro Commission and the Kamisato clan. I do so not without reservation, so... I hope that you will treat this matter as confidential. That aside, as I'm sure you're aware, I'm afraid that I won't always be able to help you in such circumstances. Given your position and that of the International Trade Association, please try to exercise more caution in the future. You do not want to incur further unnecessary losses. We will. We certainly will. But, um... Are you sure this isn't gonna cause any issues? For you? What if someone high up in the Kanjo Commission sees what you're doing and doesn't like it? You're a highly respected member of society. Surely putting your neck on the line for small timers like me can't be worth the risk. <laughs> Very humorous. Let's not forget that I am the eldest daughter of the Kamisato clan. I would be very surprised indeed if anybody in the Kanjo Commission felt that I was accountable to them for my actions. Whoa, that sent shivers down Paimon's spine! Does everyone from a powerful clan talk like that? Mr. Kurisu, I need to know the exact time and location of the theft, and anything that stood out about the perpetrator's appearance. Thank you so much. Let's see, it was two hours ago now, over at the, um, uh... Everyone, please follow me to the scene of the crime. The investigation starts there. Alright, off we go! And here we are. This is where we were robbed. Hey, look on the ground! What are those? Huh? Footprints! Very deep ones at that. Leading towards the forest! Hmm... Presumably, the depth suggests that they were carrying something heavy. Let's see where they lead! You think you can get your stuff back with this bunch? You must be dreaming. <sighs> Why you? You better hope you have the courage of your convictions. Why wouldn't I, old man? Answer me this. You're one of those outlander merchants, right? You trade association types are worms. Coming over to our land, leeching off our people. Who's gonna leap to your defense, huh? Tell me, who's gonna stick their neck out for the likes of you? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. No response. You know I'm right. Face it. This is Inazuma. You've got no ties here. You're at the bottom of the pile. Can you really blame us for walking all over you? You are despicable. Hey! I just had an idea. Since you came all this way, how about we do some business? Business? Pay up. And you can take your fabric back. Sound good? If you ask me, it beats walking out of here with black eyes and a broken nose. <gasps> You're just a big bully! I... Uh, what choice do I have? Wait! Mr. Kurisu, please do not pay any money to this man. But... but... I trust you remember our agreement? If you keep your lips firmly sealed, I too shall uphold my end of the deal. Oh yes, of course! 
Then please stand well back where it is safe. Now, it is time for me to honor my word! What a lucky day! My apologies! Boom! Solidify! My blade blade! You know a thing or two! See no more! Take flight! My blade! My apologies! Move! Gather to the fury! Finally, I... Okay, another test subject. That tingle? How's this? My apologies. Should I try to find my new hammer? My blade! Whirling snow! Sakura swirl! Well, that's resolved then. <sighs> no, please, I... It was nothing. I was simply doing my duty. Miss Komisato, Traveler, are, are you hurt? Don't worry, we're fine. The vagrants left in quite a hurry. It would seem they didn't have time to take anything with them. I believe your stolen goods should all be here. Thank you. Thank you so much. You'd best do a count. Six, eight, ten. Yep, it's all here. Great! Now we can finally buy some silk. Buy silk? You mean you need some of the silk here? This was indeed our intent. Don't get us wrong, though. That's not the reason we helped you out. Even if it were just a few carrots or cabbages, chances are we still would have helped you get them back. Paimon thinks we're pretty lucky. If we arrived any later, our chances of getting Silk and Inazuma would have been zero. I honestly can't thank you all enough. Please, say no more. You need Silk? I'll pick out a piece for you right away. Thank you, good sir. How much do I owe you? Oh, it's free of charge. I could never ask you to pay after everything you've done for me. No, no, that will never do. Things cost what they cost, and what they cost is what I shall pay. Merchants already have enough challenges to deal with, and as Paimon explained, my help was unconditional. Please, sell your wares to me at the price you would sell them to any other customer. There is nothing to feel distressed about, because nothing... I repeat, nothing happened here in these woods today, did it? Thank you, I... I don't think I could ever repay you. You have helped me greatly and I will never forget it. I'm... Uh, I'm afraid we must part ways. I must get these goods back to the Association. If you ever need anything at all, just come to the International Trade Association and ask for Kurisu. Very well. And thank you for the silk, Mr. Kurisu. Don't go getting robbed again! Traveler, thank you for stepping in to help out. But how come those vagrants didn't seem to know who you were? They must move in completely different circles. Maybe they've never seen anyone from the Kamisato clan before. Perhaps. Either way, I'm glad they didn't recognize me. The fewer people who know what happened today, the better. <laughs> it's not every day an important person like you helps out someone like Kurisu. It really shows what a great person you are. Oh, uh, your praise is quite unwarranted. I merely did what anyone in my position would have done. I admit that it did feel strange for me to come to his aid. But this should have nothing to do with identity or social class. As far as I'm concerned, it was one individual helping another in need. I guess that deep down, 
I don't see how a society can be considered just when people encounter such obstacles in their livelihoods. Uh, sorry, I'm getting off topic. Right. Let's head back to Ogura Textiles and Kimonos and give our hard-won silk to the shopkeeper. Okay! at the International Trade Association? Did they have any silk in stock? Yes, they did. Here. Excellent news! So, apart from the silk, I think everything else I need I've got in store already. Uh, I just need to go and take stock of our materials. It won't take me a moment. I'll be right back. They better all be there! I do hope nothing else is missing. Traveler, on the subject of garments, I've been meaning to acquire a new outfit for you, too. It's just, I wasn't sure how you'd feel about the idea of dressing in Inazuman attire. Oh? Are you sure? Is that so? Impressive. So travelers of your stature hold themselves to a dress code, as well as a code of conduct. When you're away from home, you've got to live by certain rules to survive, whether you like it or not. But Paima would still love to check out some Inazuman outfits. Just what is that supposed to mean? They make them in whatever size the customer asks for. <laughs> oh, your interactions are so adorable to watch. <clears throat> I mean, um... I can certainly find someone to tailor a paimon size outfit if Paimon so wishes. Hmm. Well, if you're sure... As you wish. Something else I've been wondering is... How do people in other nations dress? It's so true! People dress in all kinds of ways! Some people like to wear a hood, some cover up half their face with a mask, some just straight up dress like a peacock. Oh, and some have their tummy on show. Others wear skin-tight leotards and leggings. If you can imagine it, Paimon guarantees that someone out there is wearing it. Really? So there is no single standard and people just dress however they like? So fascinating. Somehow, I feel a little envious. Wait, so you want to dress like a peacock now? No, of course not. I just mean, I admire those who are able to do as they please. I would very much like to travel across the Seven Nations and see how people live. Sorry to keep you waiting. I've checked my inventory. Thank you. Is there anything else you're missing? Fortunately not. I have all the materials I need. As for the size, would you like me to go by the dimensions given on the design? Yes, please. Understood. I'll get to work shortly. In total, that'll be... this much. Here you go. Is it possible to treat this as an urgent order? Well, luckily, we don't have any other urgents at the moment, so I can begin work right away. It will still take me some time, though, so please come and collect it later. Until then, I'm sure you'll find somewhere nearby to pass the time. Good idea! Let's check out the whole area! We don't want to leave any loose ends! <laughs> there will be no loose ends while you're in my company. I already decided where to go while we wait. For our next stop, I'd like to take you both for a meal. Food? Oh, Paima likes this plan. Mm-hmm. I picked the venue especially for you. A humble local eatery called Kiminami Restaurant. I thought that the relaxed atmosphere there would suit our day much better than the prohibitively formal one of a high-end restaurant. Shall we head off? Yep, yep! Paimon can't wait! Are we 
me here? Ooh, it's one of those street side places. Looks cute and cozy. Welcome! Oh, Miss Kiminami. How do you do? Ah, oh, Miss Kamisato. Perfect timing. Your booking was for... Well, right now! I believe so. We'll be sticking to the order I placed in advance. As for the other matter we discussed, thank you for your help. Excellent! No problem. And everything you asked for is ready and waiting. Traveler, tiny customer, please wait here for a moment while I prepare your food. Go ahead and take a seat. There is something I need to take care of, but I'll be back momentarily. <clears throat> it's nothing of that sort. I just have a few minor things I need to attend to. I won't be long. Sheesh, you're left in a hurry. Whatever it is, it must be pretty urgent. So, you two are Miss Kamisato's friends? <laughs> well, we serve all the classics. Sure, there are fancier looking places out there, but the food here speaks for itself. Hope you enjoy it. Over the years we've been in business, we've gotten to know the Kamisato clan quite well. Miss Kamisato and her brother are both fond of our food. They're always sending staff down here to order something and take it back to them. Her table booking surprised me. Not least because it was a group reservation. This is the first time I've ever heard of Miss Kamisato going out for dinner with friends. The first time ever? Oh, guess that makes us pretty important people, huh? Sure does. And I'm probably crossing the line here, but I'm just telling you what others have told me. Apparently, Miss Kamisato doesn't have a lot of friends. How is that possible? She's so kind and polite to everyone. Paimon would have thought that would make her really popular. That's what I used to think, too. But it turns out the rules of social interaction are a bit more complicated than that. Nobody in the neighborhood has a bad word to say about her. They all say she's beautiful, elegant, graceful. Not to mention that she belongs to one of the most illustrious clans in the land. In short, they see her as a model young lady. But that's just it. People look at her and they see a model of perfection. And they don't feel like that's something they can relate to. So the majority of kids from our ordinary families don't even try to talk to her. So you see, on paper, she sounds like a girl everyone would want to get to know. But in practice, she finds it difficult to make friends. Huh. Paima never would have guessed. We don't speak all that much, but we do go quite a way back. I've always admired her for taking on so many responsibilities at such a young age. So it makes me really happy to see her here with friends today. Anyway... Relax, enjoy your meal, and please, talk to her as much as possible. I know she'll appreciate it. Consider it a favor for the whole neighborhood. Look after her for us. <gasps> huh? That sounded like Ayaka! <sighs> I'm so sorry, Traveler. Could you join me over there for a minute? Um... I need your help with something. I'm sorry. I didn't want to drag you away all of a sudden. I, um, just had a cooking catastrophe. Oh, so that loud noise we heard came from the cooking pot. As you can see, this house is right next to the restaurant. It's where the owner lives. Actually, this whole compound is the family's private property. I asked Miss Kiminami to prepare some ingredients and utensils for me, so that I could cook a special dish here. Right! If there's something you want to eat, you could just order it from the menu. Actually, I wanted to cook something as a gift for Tsubaki. My mother mentioned in her notebook that Tsubaki enjoys food from all over the world. So I thought, if I'm going to meet Tsubaki, Perhaps a dish from overseas would make a fitting gift. A dish from overseas? So anything from outside Inazuma counts, right? If so, then we've got lots of options, don't we? Hey! Don't make this weird! Can I leave you to finish this task then? Just as a personal favor. Is that okay? I'll be indebted to you. 
Great. But... What kind of overseas dish would make a suitable gift? It needs to survive a journey from the kitchen to the recipient's doorstep. Oh, Paimon knows! There's one dish out there that was practically created for this purpose! Pizza! Pizza? It's an assortment of toppings and sauce spread over a bread base and cooked in the oven. And it's so good! That does sound pretty good. Is the pizza ready? Oh, it's ready! It smells delicious! You're an excellent cook, Traveler. <sighs> I would love to be able to master dishes from all over the world. Well, all you need to learn is a recipe. We can bring you some more recipes in the future if you like. Great. I look forward to learning from your culinary expertise. How are you all doing? Whoa, is this... Miss Kamisato, this must be the dish you were talking about. Yes, an overseas dish cooked by the traveler. Could I trouble you to package it for me? Sure, no problem. Oh, it smells good. I bet it tastes amazing. Oh, now I really want to put something like this on our menu. <laughs> want us to teach you how to make it? Oh, could you? The most satisfying meals are the ones you share with other people. So Paimon thinks that our friends in Mondstadt wouldn't mind us sharing this dish with Inazuma. Really? <sighs> That's great. I've always wanted to learn how to cook some international dishes. If you can write down a recipe for me, I'll add it to our menu and put a promotion where everyone will see it. Since we've become a closed nation, people haven't had the chance to try anything new. Traveler, you're the best! I'll go pack up this dish for Miss Kamisato. Please, make your way back to the restaurant whenever you're ready. The food will be waiting for you. You could have sold that recipe for a high price, but you selflessly gave it away for free. You're a wonderful person. I mean it. I admire you a lot, and I'm so proud to be friends with someone of such fine character. Well, you should probably write down the recipe now, no? Yeah, let's make sure we include all the details and then give it to Miss Kiminami. So, Pizza. Start with the basic ingredients. Correctamundo! Right, now to add the next couple of ingredients. Mmm, yep, that's right! Now for the cooking instructions. Place onto oven rack at high heat and cook until golden brown. Alright, it's done! Long may our reputations and our recipes precede us wherever we go in Inazuma. I have no doubt that they will. This dish is exquisite. Cool! Then let's get this recipe to Miss Kimi Nami Pronto! Have you written out the recipe? Here it is. Thank you! Wowie, this is so exciting. I want to make it right away. Traveler, Paimon, please accept my sincerest apologies for delaying your meal. <laughs> no problem! Food always tastes better when you've worked up an appetite. All right, let's dig in before it gets cold. Well, what do you think? Is Inazuman cuisine to your liking? It's amazing! Paimon loved this one! Oh, and especially that one over there! <laughs> Good. I'm relieved. Um, when I was attempting to cook earlier on, did you chat with the owner at all? And did she, uh, 
say anything about me? She did, but don't worry. She's just happy for you is all. She's... happy for me? Oh, then... she must have told you. Did she... um... What does it matter? I know just as well as anybody else that I've got no friends. Hey, it's not you. Most people just haven't had the chance to talk to you one on one before. Thank you for your comforting words, Paimon. It's all true, though. I just don't have very many friends. Most of the time I'm either accompanied by family or staff, so everyone must have found it quite a surprise to see me taking you out for a meal. Exactly! You've got at least two friends right here! Aww! Thank you! That makes me so happy! Ahem! <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm forgetting myself. Hey now! Expressing your feelings is the right thing to do. Keeping them locked away inside isn't gonna do you any good now, is it? I agree. So? I just want to say how happy I feel. That you both see me as a true friend. Of course we do. That's always been our style. If someone's nice to us, we're nice to them too. Friendship can go a long way. Take your mom, for example. She wrote about Tsubaki in her notebook, and now it's made you want to find them too. Yes. I think friendship is an extremely precious thing. And ours is one that I will always treasure. Um, while we're on the topic, though, who is this Tsubaki person anyway? Well, I think I have an idea, but it's just speculative at this point. I think that Tsubaki might be a fox envoy. A fox envoy? Yes. That's what I think. Even I, my mother's own daughter, had never even heard of this friend before. It just seems so... mysterious. So I think it must be someone with transcendent abilities who doesn't show themselves very often. And fox envoys are nothing new. Stories have been told about them in Inazuma since ancient times. You must have met Kuji Yae before. Well, she's a fox envoy. That got me thinking. Maybe there are fox envoys out there in Inazuma that people just don't know about. And maybe Tsubaki is one of them. Whoa! So Inazuma also has supernatural beings? Uh, when you say also... Well, before Inazuma, we spent some time in Liyue. They have lots of supernatural beings there, like the Adepti. All kinds of them, too! Up in the sky, down below the ground, in the water! Really? I've come across such things being asserted in books, but to hear someone talk about it from first-hand experience is extremely surprising. So Li Yue lives up to its reputation. Its culture has a long history and gives rise to the most beautiful legends. Quite captivating. You should come visit Liyue with us sometime. The best part is, they have loads and loads of delicious delicacies. Really? I would love that. Speaking of delicacies, Traveler, Paimon, have you eaten your fill? Oh, Paimon has. Excellent. Then let's collect the kimono. Then we can pay a visit to my mother's mysterious and transcendent friend. Your garment is ready, Miss Kamisato. I folded and packaged it for you. Oh, and the other item we discussed? That's ready too. Thank you very much. No, thank you. It is a beautiful piece of clothing and it was a pleasure to work on. See you again next time. Traveler, I have a gift for you. Whoa, looks super fancy. Is that for wearing in your hair? It's a hairpin in the style of a white heron. 
as well as a hair accessory, you can also use it as an ornament. I couldn't ask for your help and offer nothing at all in return, so this is my gift to you. I'm glad you like it. Speaking of white herons, that's what your title means, doesn't it? Hirasagi Himegimi. So this gift is like a little piece of yourself. It's just as elegant and beautiful as you are. <laughs> you flatter me, Paimon. If this gift reminds you of me, that is all I could ask for. <laughs> it definitely will. Alright, well, now we've got what we came for, we can set off! Time to go meet Tsubaki!